Hey guys, I'm here to help you guys add caves to a game that doesn't have caves. So in this video, you can see that my second save here doesn't have any caves. And once you've started a game, you can't really add, turn on the caves. So the first step is to create a new game. Let's generate the game here. Let's call it Exo with caves. Right? Uh, doesn't matter what settings you have. Click add caves. So you're gonna create this world. Set up your settings how you want. Generate the world. And then give it time to generate the world. Okay, my world's been generated. Um, you're gonna wanna disconnect from the game. So let's leave the server. And let's quit the game. So after you close your game, the next step is you want to go to my documents, go to the Cly folder and then go to the Don't Starve Together folder. So in the Don't Starve Together folder, you're going to see um, clusters 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Cluster 2 was the save that I want to copy the data from. And cluster 1 was the new world that I generated with caves. So when you look inside cluster 1, you'll see master save session. And then this is where all your information is for your save. You're gonna copy this folder. And you're gonna paste it into session one. Well, that's session one, cluster one. So you're gonna master save session. You're gonna paste it. Now you're gonna delete this other one. This is the new world. Uh, next, you also have to go to the save index file in cluster one and open in notepad. So this is the with caves. The session ID here you gotta update this. It's gonna be the same as that session folder name here. So let's go back to session rename copy this. I want to change this here. Paste it, save it, and one more thing, you gotta go back to the client folder. So the client save folder here, you gotta open this, go down to your save index, let's open this up, and under session ID number you're gonna insert that session ID for your cluster 2. So my slot 1 was named Ixil 2020 with case. The session ID number, I've inserted uh, the corresponding one to my old save. You're going to save it. Now you should be good to go. Let's launch the game. Oh, sorry. One more thing. So uh, when I was pasting the session ID, it was up top, but that's only because um, my new game was on the first slot. So make sure you find the correct slot when you insert the session ID. Uh, whatever the name of your save is, your new your new world that you generated, just do control find on it until you find the name of it. So my second slot was um, my original game I had renamed to no case. So it's my second slot. So make sure you go, you insert the session ID into the correct slot. So my new world was on the first slot, that's why it's up top. All right, let's go to the game. Okay, I've loaded up my game. I'm gonna go host my games. So as you can see, the number of days for my original save was 205. It, it's been copied over, so it's also 205. The original save had no case, and now this one has case available. So let's go into my game. Alright, we found the sinkhole for the cave. 
guess it's gonna it worked let's go see if we can go in so you should test it out and just make sure your your caves actually work so there we go this is how you add uh, caves to a game that doesn't have caves So after you've um, confirmed that it's correct, you probably should delete your old save because we don't know what's going to happen because they have the same uh, session ID numbers. So thank you for watching. I hope this video was useful. Bye bye.